everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, I'm an expert mortgage broker. Today, we're talking about our re-mortgages and what to do in 2023. You know, things are a little bit different at the moment. Uh, what should you be doing if your re-mortgage is due in 2023? Rates are a bit unstable, Bank of England's going up. What are mortgage rates doing? So I've got a perfect strategy if your mortgage is due in 2023. Now, as ever, if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it really helps to know uh, what sort of content you guys enjoy. So, let's get into it. So, if you've watched any of my other videos before, you will have seen that I've spent the last six months or so uh, telling people, urging people, to remortgage as early as possible, you know, six, seven months early because rates are going up and up and up. You want to get yours secure as soon as possible. Now, on the whole, that advice hasn't changed, but we're seeing interest rates do something slightly different at the moment. Now, traditionally, what we've been saying uh, recently um, is, you know, secure it as early as possible because yeah, if, if, if rates are going up, as I just said a second ago, the sooner you get yours locked in, it's set then, um, it's not gonna change. You know what your mortgage is gonna go on to when you come to the end of your current rate. So the sooner you can do it, the better and you can do it six, seven months early, or you start the process seven months early, get your mortgage offer and that'll last six months. So that's still, that's still the advice. However, at the moment, what we're seeing is the Bank of England base rate still going up? So just recently, it depends when you're watching this, obviously, but the is 4%. It happened a couple of weeks ago, it went up uh, a little bit more. So Bank of England base rate is still, you know, fairly high and on the way up. Whether it will continue to go up or not, I don't know. You know, I'm no economist, so uh, we'll see in the next few months if it goes up any more. Um, but what we've seen with mortgage rates, mortgage fixed rates is that they've actually been coming down. And so all well, the hype in the media when the Bank of England went up you know, quite dramatically a few months ago, um, towards the end of 2022, 20, uh, a lot of hype in the media about mortgage interest rates, you know, going sky high. Actually, since then, they've started coming down. And that is because uh, mortgage fixed rates are not linked to the Bank of England base rate. So whatever the Bank of England base rate does, doesn't necessarily affect mortgage fixed rates. Mortgage fixed rates are linked to what we call swap rates. And those swap rates, um, again, as I've said on a few videos in the past, they are linked to different factors. So they're influenced by different factors. Like the economy, the economies of the world, you know, world events, all sorts of things that are happening, inflation, prices, everything, that all affects swap rates. And actually what we've seen of late is those swap rates are coming down. So uh, that's the rate at which the bank that you're going to take your mortgage from, they borrow the money from somewhere else, so they get hold of the money, and then they lend it to you at a higher rate than they borrowed it for, and then they, they make a profit. Um, so that's how it works, uh, and that's the swap rate. Now those swap rates will have a certain rate for a certain length of time, a bit like, a bit like your mortgage. So um, what we're seeing lately is that it's cheaper for lenders to borrow money uh, for a five-year fixed than it is a uh, two-year fix, which is so you know, five-year fix are a little bit lower at the moment. So it could be quite appealing to fix for five years. It's lower than the two. However, we don't know, you know, this isn't a video about how long you should fix for, but we, we don't know what's gonna happen over the next few months. You know, in a couple of years, will you, you know, kick yourself that you've still got another three years of time and if rates have come back down again, or would it be the right thing? You know, if rates are still the same as they are now or higher, then you'll be glad you went for a five year. So that's that's a different story uh, and one that's a little bit hard to uh, predict at the moment. But what we do know is that the advice hasn't changed at the beginning. So we still think we should be uh, re-fixing, fixing is what you want to do, but redoing your mortgage six months in advance so that we get something locked in. Now that something is basically our new backup plan. So we know that if all else fails, we've got this mortgage and that is gonna be uh, what you go on to in six months time. So that's our backup plan. And we should absolutely still be doing that still six months early because we don't know what the next few months are going to bring. However, if rates continue to do what they're currently doing, mortgage rates, uh, and that is coming down a little bit, the chances are in four months, five months, there may be a lower rate for you. So if there is a lower rate, 
most lenders, uh, pretty much all the high street lenders, you know, the normal sort of lenders, they will let us choose a new rate for you. So we do mortgage application now on a certain rate, uh, and that's our backup. And then in five months time, or you know, a month, good few weeks before you actually need it, before it completes, if there's a better rate available, we can swap you to that one. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. So that basically is our, our perfect remortgage strategy. So we get, we get something locked in now. So that is our fallback option, but we keep an eye on it. If we don't have that fallback option and rates decide actually in four months time, they're gonna go up a little bit again, then you know, you're gonna be cross with yourself because you could have uh, secured that backup option. If you leave it, we don't know what things might do. We, they, they might continue to get lower and you'll be glad you left it. But doing it this way, you get the best of both worlds. So that is my advice to you for remortgaging this year. Look at it early, but then we'll keep an eye on it. And if it gets lower, we can change it. You don't have to continue, you don't have to complete on this mortgage that we've applied for now. If there's something better, we can swap it for you. So, as always, if that sounds like a good idea for you, if your mortgage is due next year and you want to go through some options, you want to look at you know, what rates are available and what things are doing at the moment for you, uh, you can get in touch a few ways. Uh, there's a link to our website in the description. Go and check that out. You can uh, you know, send us an inquiry on there. If you want to talk to us straight away, uh, there's a link in the description to book an appointment straight in our diary. Um, lots of people do that, so you, know, you can head in there and do that. Uh, we'll be delighted to speak to you, no obligation of course, no charge for just talking to us about what the options are. So we hope to speak to you very soon. If not, I will see you on the next video very soon. Take care.